Brought to you by Classic Throwback TV. This is RMB's 107.5 WBLS. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the fun begin. It's 414 on the Wendy Williams Show on BLS. Little Kim is here. Turn her mic on. Kim, move, move closer. Everything is going on. C's is here. Kim, I do have to say, you want to know what? You look like a different person, but you don't look bad. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know how they say, like, um, like if you get a nose job or something like that? Like, and it was hard to see on television, you know, the different angles that the camera was, was uh, uh, showing on different television shows and in magazines. It looks cute. Tell me what you had the doctor do. Come on now. Did you go in and say, just take a little bit off my sides because it doesn't look you got, like you had? So, come on, I'm familiar with plastic surgery, except I haven't been done from the neck up. Turn her mic on, please. Lean into the mic, Kim. No, her mic is not on. What is Radio 101 on the other side? Look, I have Queen B in here, and you're having a problem. All right, go ahead, Kim. Give it a one-two. Wow. There you go. Damn. Damn. Stupid. <laughs> we need a technology. We need, some, we need Exactly. Yeah, we have a technical difficulty. No, we're not really. He's just having the difficulties, but that's besides the point. Go ahead. I mean, well, I've heard so many things about myself, so, I mean, you know, whatever people want to speculate, I just do No, come on, Kim. Talk in the microphone. <laughs> I'm, can you? Yes, I can, but you have way too many microphones up. Now you have every mic on the other side up when there's only two in the studio. Kim, keep talking right into the studio, right into the mic. Well, I want to say it's... Yes, you turned off from... You turned off my mic, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, turn on my mic. feel like I'm in a booth. Yes, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. So, Kim, let's talk about that. Go ahead. So a lot of people have a lot to say, but you say what? I just say, you know, it's just, everything is about whatever you want to do. Right. Come on, I just try to make sure that I am happy. That you're happy. Right. I've heard so many things about myself. I've heard I've had uh, lips. You know, lips. I have gotten a lip done. No, there's I'm no collagen. No, I'm like, you know, it's okay. Ever, but. Some of my girls. Meaning, you know, listeners and stuff. Some of my girls were speculating that you had either your chin, your cheeks, your implants and all like that. And I'm looking at you and I don't see that. Have you had that That's done? That's a compliment. All of this, all of that, everything that they said I've gotten done is a compliment. I mean, you know, it's just obvious. Yeah. You know, but, 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 mine too. You know, you know how many women in the street Me. About I got mine done before you. I had little, little, uh, even though I'm a taller girl, I had little boobs. You know what I'm saying? You look great. I double D'd them up. You what, look great. what? Okay. Thank you. And you ever notice that you don't have to go with a bra? You oh, know what I'm saying? Nice. They mess it up. We'll have breasts like teenagers when we're 80 years old. <laughs> you know? And shout out to all the girls who are born naturally big, but all me and Kim have to say is that you'll start flopping after 25 while we're still sitting up, right? <laughs> right, Kim? I you got your teeth capped? Um, your teeth look beautiful? Let's talk. Let's actually, talk. actually, I don't mind talking about my teeth because Let's. my teeth are something that I've always wanted to get done. I just, these are actually my teeth that just been shaved down just because, you know, I had, I had a little overbite. Yes. And it was killing me. Like, I take pictures, I'd be like, yo, he's not you're, looking. Your two front teeth were longer than the rest. Yeah. And so I remember when you got them filed, did you get veneer caps over them? No, I didn't, ha- I didn't have veneer caps. Okay. Because they, they look, that's old. Yes. Like, and that, that's something that they used to do. Yeah. Yes. But now they have a way that they can just shape and mold your teeth and, you know, you know, just clean them, yes. bleach them. I get, I get my teeth bleached. Yes. And, uh, so are you satisfied with your nose job the way it came out? I'm asking you, Kim. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to go back under and get anything tweaked? Are you I'm satisfied? I'm not getting anything done to myself. I'm not getting anything done. Anything I more. Mean, people can speculate about what they think I have done or yeah. what I have done. But actually, I have not had a lot of, like, face offering and stuff like that. Not yeah. Done. All right. Well, let me just go down what, what I think everybody thinks that you had done. Liposuction, mm-hmm. um, the breast implants, mm-hmm. the nose job. And I go along with those three. <laughs> the, the cheek implants, I don't go along with. Oh, and everybody knows, you know, your teeth you know, got them done, you know. And if other people took better care of their teeth, then perhaps, you know, they wouldn't be so envious of how beautiful and white yours are. <laughs> your teeth are beautiful. Thank you. Little teeth. Those teeth are beautiful. Have you ever licked those teeth, please? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, you I'm going, in a hot seat right now, but it's all good. No, I, no, I love it. No, Kim, I love it. So, have, did you use one plastic surgeon for everything? I have a, I have, I have a great doctor. You know, yeah. 
but like I said, I, I don't have baseball print and all of that shit done. I, I don't, don't curse him. But I, I don't believe that. But however, I'm going to use before and after pictures. Now that I'm looking at you, I'm going to yeah. go through my little Kim archive of pictures. You can, after but the you want something that's a compliment. Yeah. I mean, you know, hey, I mean, thank you. But it's, it's I know there's a lot of black women who don't agree with plastic, um, surgery. plastic surgery, period. And I understand that. That's fine. You know what I mean? I, I feel you. But actually, that doesn't change who I am as a person and in my heart. And I'll tell you why a lot of um, black women, a lot of Spanish women, a lot of women in general, even white women, they don't agree with plastic surgery because they're not educated about it. You know, like I find when I tell people, because I sing it proudly, I had gotten liposuction before I left New York and before like you and Mary and you know, a lot of the other girls jumped on the bandwagon and some plants and all like that. And I got on the radio and I talked about it. We had a lipo lunch because I'm singing the praises. I'm like, girls, if you can go out and get a pair of $1,500 Prada boots, then you can save another $1,000 and add to that and get your stomach done deep. But you want to know something? What people don't know is that sometimes people get liposuction for health reasons. They don't even know that. Like sometimes they Like get Suzanne heavy. Summers. Yeah, and some people get breast reductions for health reasons. Right, right. Some people, it, it makes their back bad. It, it makes, you know, and you know, some people get it done to help themselves look better or whatever, but... You know, there's some people who have big bones in their nose right. where, you know, it, it, it blinds, you know, their eyes. Right. The way they, they want to make it easier for them in life, and that's what they so, do. So, like, how long did you have the packing in your nose and all like that, and how long were you black and blue, and where did you convalesce? Did you go someplace fabulous? <laughs> Look, um... Like I said, um... Come on, Kim. I mean, I just don't... I just, it's not really anything to talk about. Like, you it's know, not? I don't think so. I mean, we know that we, I've had a rest. I mean, yeah. I've had, you know, whatever. Yeah. Teeth and, you know, face. Okay. But like I said, it's, it's, it's not really... It's like, whatever. It's that me, how I am, whatever. Did we, did we really, really, really care that Michael had all these things done? No, but we care that little Kim had it done. Because you know why? You know why? Because Michael is unattainable celebrity. You're around the way, girl. We know you. Even if we don't know you, we know you. You know what I'm saying, Cease? That's why you're different than Michael and Janet. That's why I think a lot of people freaked out when they found out, first of all, that you got plastic surgery in general, which, oh, bula bula, big deal. But the nose is uh, the next level. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I think a lot of people freaked out because you are not Michael and you're not Janet. You're not an unattainable celebrity. You're around the way. You're, you're from Brooklyn. Yeah. Girl, we know her. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And, I, and, I'm, and I ain't changed. I'm still that. That girl. You know what okay. I'm still, I'm still the same chick. Like I said, whatever, you know, whatever I do with my personal life, whatever I do with my body in general, it doesn't change who I am as a person yeah. in my heart. And it, it definitely changed you. No. Changed, you know? Yeah, and I, and I, and I will, I mean, I, I vote for plastic surgery, Kim. And the girls, you all listening, you'll hear me talk about it long after little Kim leaves. Let's move off that topic, though, and talk about other things. Um, how is your romantic life? Because I heard, Whoa. I had heard Steven Whoa. Seagal, and I had heard, you know, this and that. And sorry, let me just run down some names, and you tell me if you were romantically involved. And please be honest, okay? Hey. Please back her up. All right, R. Kelly, because cause the feeling on your booty video, that very cute. R. Kelly is my boy. I love him to death. Like, let me explain to you. R. Kelly, Ray J, those are all my homies. And what I like to do, I'm an entertainer. Yes. And I love to make it. I, I love to cause drama in my videos. I love to cause drama in other people's videos. Yes. I love entertaining. So it's all about entertaining. I like to act. I like to put on a character when I'm doing videos and when I'm on TV because right. I don't get to really be myself at the times that I want to be myself. I have to always be little Kim in the public eye. So, you know, even if I am little Kim in the public eye, when I get on video, I want to just show other characters. I want to just, yeah. you know, do other things. That's why I was in R. Kelly's video even though I wasn't on the record. Right, right, right. You know what right. I mean? And with Ray J, I did the song with him and I knew that people were not going to piece together. They're going to be like, I knew they were going to be like, what the heck did that happen? And then also everybody's talking about that there was a little romantic relationship there, which I can't believe. Little Kim and Brandy's brother. <laughs> no, that's my homie, y'all. Let me tell you, the old dude, he got an old soul. I like that about him. Okay. You know what I mean? He gives me nice gifts. And I'm not going to say it's What did he give you that was so nice? I got a nice, he gave me a, a, a Aerie Canelo, I mean, a, a a, eerie, a yellow canary chain um, wow. with yellow diamonds. And wow. It was real pretty. And then his album flopped and he wanted to take it back and pawn it because it made stop no it, money. Stop it. That, but, but he got some joints. There's a song that y'all need to listen to. It's called Canal. No, his album's Love. over. All right, yeah, let's but move. if that song is nice, stop waiting. Stop trying to make me forget about being asking you about Stefan Marbury, okay? Oh, now, you and Stefan, is something romantical? Steph is my homeboy. Okay. I, I mean, hey, you know, we all, you know, we, we, we say, but Steph is my homeboy. That's my homeboy. 
Were you sitting in the studio with him or in a, in a club one night, grinding in his lap or in the hall like that? We hung out. We hung out. But, you know, he's doing his thing. He got kids going. Oh, really? Yeah, it's my homeboy. Um, were you ever involved with a female newscaster from L.A.? A female? Oh, my yes. God. No. I'm just saying. Right. All right. Miss, Miss, Missy Elliott? No, that's my girl. You ever kissed a girl? I thought I was just a girl. Romantically. No, not romantically. Romantically, tongue and all like that. No, not romantically. <laughs> Have you ever made it with a girl? Like, you no, know what I'm saying. But a lot of females come on to me. I can imagine you're a gay icon. <laughs> lesbian and gay icon. The gay men want to be you. The lesbian women want you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, you've never had I... a lesbian relationship? No. No. <laughs> Look at Steve. Can't even keep a straight face. Kim, please. He's, he's loving you right now. He loves the fact that you're coming at me like that. We love it, though. We but love I think, it. That's why we love it. But I, but I think that the whole audience right now is going, Kim, please. Wendy, move on to the next question. <laughs> we'll formulate our own well, opinions well, of that. I mean, why would you say that? Like, I mean, what makes, what's about me that makes you say that? I mean, it's, it's cool. I well, okay. Know. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I have a young friend who happens to be a rapstress who happens to have hung out with you several times, and who happen, and I'm not going to say her name because I don't, I don't expose my informant, but we've hung out um, several times, and she has told me that she came to your house, the one that you had during the Honey article, that, um, from what I understand, wasn't your house, but like a rented house, like you were renting at that time, but we'll get to where you live in a second. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then she came, she came to your house, and you and several of the rapstresses were there, because, you know, you and your girls and all like that, and it was all about, like, she's new, newer than you in the business. Not new, but newer. And she was like, you know what? you got to pimp these men for what they're worth and so on and so forth, and only a woman, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, like that. You see what I'm saying? Well, I can tell you that's a lie, because I only really rapstress friends that I've had I know really closely, and I don't really know, I'm not really, really close to, like, a lot of the new females that right. come in. Not because that's how I want it to be, it's just I don't know them like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I can tell you that. And, so you've never been in a relationship with really, women. And, and another thing is, too, I don't invite people to my home. How much do you weigh? I'm looking at you, and you're... Ben, you look great. How much are you weighing? <laughs> I think I'm like 107. I don't know. Is this your ideal weight? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, sometimes I feel like I'm I'm gaining weight. And sometimes I feel like I'm losing weight. I don't know. Yeah. Cute. So, did Misa make this outfit? Are you guys still together? No, Misa and I, we're, we're, not, we're not still together. But, you know, She's coming I'm on the show on her. Thursday. Yeah, tell us at hi. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. But she was making the... Bo- Wow! Wow! You're not with the fashion icon of the underground well, video actually, world. a lot of things I've, a lot of things you see me in were my ideas also. So we've kind of collaborated. Mm-hmm. We made a good team and everything. What happened with you and Misa's relationship? Um, I just think that it was time for me and her to kind of move on in in our own directions and you know just branch out and you know just get a feel of who we both are. Okay. And how about get a feel of both of our um, fashions. You know, okay. awareness. Like, you, we, we both have great ideas. Did she start to charge you for clothes and you didn't want to pay? <laughs> well, <laughs> that too. Let me say something to you. Okay. I have supported her. I'm sure that I was a big contributor to where she uh, moved in her cars and Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. And she knows, like, I supported her. I, I was her uh, primary client. Yeah, that was her number one client. Yes, you are. Time. Yes, so, you are. You know, hey, I mean, you know, I'm not mad if you want to start charging more or you want to do, you know, I think that's fine. Okay, but, okay. Uh, How, what's your relationship like with Faith? I don't have a relationship with her, but there's nothing, you know, there's no animosity, there's nothing there. If you saw her in the club, you wouldn't splash her with champagne, would you? No, I'm I'm, I'm a mature, grown woman. You know? Yeah, let's talk about that. So, like, you're like 28 now or something no, like that? No, I'm not that old. How old are you? How old are you? 25. 25? Yeah. That's a showbiz age. No. And my showbiz age is 25, too. Uh, are you really 25? I'm a cancer, I'm a cancer for you. Yeah, you're uh, June 14th. July. July 14th. July 11th. 11th. Same as Pamela Anderson. Yeah. And well, just... actually, I think not. Yeah. Um, so, by the way, do you ever hang out with Sam Anderson anymore? I mean, I know that you were friends, but I think that that was that stupid showbiz air kiss mess. You know what yeah, I'm saying? No, no, that's actually my girl. Is last it? time we were together, actually, I just came from Italy last night. Uh huh. With Donna Teller last night. She had a wonderful show out in Milan. Uh huh. So we were out in Milan. I just came last night and you know, I'm here this morning. Somebody- but usually Pamela and I meet out in Paris or Italy to go to the show together. And I can't. Hang out there. I can't believe what time it is. We have to go into a break. Little Kim is here for at least another hour more, everybody. So please don't move your... I've only gotten through like three of the questions I wanted to ask you. We've just been chatting it up. I'm loving having you here, Kim. Okay. 
don't look at this interview sideways because I'm I am a supporter. I love it too. I love it. I'm gonna go on and back. To See, it. Okay. you hip hop freak. Everybody knows about your sex life and what you're up to. You're disgusting, but we love him, don't we? Little Caesar's free, and Little Kim is here. It's the Wendy Williams show with the four playing four. We got songs number two and one. If we get to them, 107.5 WBLS. Brought to you by Classic Throwback TV. Brothers and sisters. Um, 439 right now, the Wendy Williams Show. Little Kim is in the studio with us, looking fantastic. What's up, New York? I'm New York. Yes, turn down um, the music bed a little bit. Um, little Kim, you know, for as much as you've um, had a lot of publicity in a lot of crossover magazines, I've seen you in InStyle, I've seen you in The Star, I've seen you on the cover of The New Yorker and all like that. Um, do you feel like the hood has turned their back on Little Kim and like you've crossed over to... I won't say the white man, but I'll leave that kind of open-ended. But do you feel like the hood has turned their back on Little Kim? Well, I don't feel that way. I feel like, I mean, hopefully you have it, but no, I don't feel that way. I feel like the majority of the people who bought my second album were from the hood and were, the, you know, uh, predominantly black. I really feel that way okay. because I didn't get, get a chance to open up to the new, quote, unquote, you know, white audience. Uh -huh. I feel like this, like, it's more of the black community or whatever or more of my um, I would say you know more of the black community would have said you know yeah oh, Kim's album let's go get her second album or whatever and would have been more supportive of it then you would have gone platinum no, I did go platinum. You did? How yeah, long did that take? over platinum. That took a while. It took a while, but I think it's because, like, I, I came out doing something new. I didn't feel like I should be stuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just doing the same old thing. Growth comes, you have to grow, you know, with every album. And I had to grow on the second album and let people know. I mean, there were a lot of, like, there were a lot of blocks and a lot of, uh, Things that were going on uh -huh. during my second album, which I felt stunted the growth of Notorious K.I.A. Like, like, like seizing them driving your fabulous cars to the spots for the dro, and then, then, yeah, then, look, he's proud of that back there. Kim, don't you put any, what, who is this right here? That's Banger. Banger, it's you. I don't think we ever met. Okay, so Seize and Banger aren't in jail, but these are the two who are always doing right. something with your rides. <laughs> so and they're free. Yes. How? What was that bail? Everybody around ghettos everywhere was saying there was a problem raising the bail. People are saying little Kim is bankrupt and she has no money to bail out her boys. I see you all are out though. How? Yeah. She looks very cute. We made it happen. Yeah. You see him here. Yeah. yeah. That the bail was astronomically high. Yes. Yeah. How it was high? High and puffy style. Put it that way. Was it over fifty thousand dollars for both of them? What? Over over a yeah. hundred. For, bo for both of them, was it over $100,000 for both of them? Have you ever pawned a nice piece of jewelry or um, turned a trick for, for some extra money? <laughs> so nobody's smiling? I've turned a trick. No. Okay, okay, okay. And what about pawning a nice we, piece we of jewelry? We did what we had to do. Okay. That way. We did what we had to do. Yeah. Okay. These are your boys. That's my boys. Period. Like they live in the house with you. Actually, I mean, yeah, we are. We're branching now, and everybody's, you know, doing yeah, that means all Kim's been, yeah. That means she's been kicked out of the house. But Bangers no, next. I would never, <laughs> ever kick them out, ever. I got my own spot. Yeah, they got their own spot. Okay. Yeah, he's, on the, he's not on the run? We're, no. Okay. 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 So the boys um, are very close with you, which if I'm a new guy in your house is turning me off because I want to elbow C's and banger and D-Rock. I want to elbow C's and fellas. Yeah, that, that's one of the reasons. That's one of, well, you know. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. You know that's, what I'm saying. That's one of the reasons. It's like having your big brothers around you exactly, all the time. all the time. But you know what? That's one of the reasons why we kind of branched off so that they can have their girls and stuff at the you know, house and, and not be a whole, you know. Like, yeah. I'm a woman. I can't walk around the house naked with my babies in the house like with my brothers. Yeah. Yes, it's yes. Like, you know, it's hard. And I like to do that. I like yes. to walk around. You know, do any like, of their, does any of Caesar's tricks, do they ever steal uh, some of your Chanel from the other room? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little pair of Louis Vuitton slippers sitting under the kitchen table. No. Wait, come on, Kim. You can't hear him like that. I'm the only one with headphones, but I'm telling you. <laughs> You can hear you can hear C's oh, barking. You know, my shorties do not move around the house. They stay in one room, one room only. And then when you finish with them, you throw them out. I read all the articles. Nah, no, to be honest, okay. That's it. I don't have no girlfriends. Friends. Do okay. They need to get girlfriends though. They yeah. need some girls, like a real girl. You know what, Kim? Do you need a boyfriend? Yeah, I I don't need a boyfriend. Uh -huh. I don't need no man. 
No, okay. I, honestly, okay. but I would love to have you know, a God. nice strong man holding me down. You, you know what I'm saying? Loving me for who I am, Kim and Little Kim. Did you used to have one of those? A guy named Peanut with a hair salon in Albany, East New York? Drove a race. Drove, drove a white Shit. range rover and all like that. Can you come? All right, everybody, everybody, move on. <laughs> so, Kim, one day, would you like to get married? And um, look at my son up in the up in the window. He's cute, right? Little ponytail. Yeah. He, he hasn't he's not having it today, though. Like he's. You know what? He had a little temperature in school, and so me and my husband, we brought him up here with us, and so this is his first time like being on the job. Hi, Kevin. You found him. Hey, this is little Kim. This is who I'm warning you about. Hey, Every morning when I look at you, baby. this is what I you tell you about. like me, honey. Look, little Kim, Kim um, would you like to have um, a husband or a, should I say, you know, a husband's not everything. Okay, a long-term boyfriend like Goldie and Kurt. You know what I'm saying? And a, and a baby. Yeah, I would love to have that one day. Do you regret the abortion that you had with Biggie? Sometimes I do, but you know what? Not really, because I believe that God had me not had that child for me. Yeah. Might have just been, you Turn know, that music down, because it's much, much more harder for me, or, you know, whatever. Like, I just, hey, it's still a part of me. He's still a part of me. And yeah. With what happened, happened, I have to move on. How are things going with Mary? Everything's cool? She got the boobs, too. Yeah. Liposuction. All the girls over in the Kim camp looking good. I accuse you. She me. is not here to defend her. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I'll talk with the listeners. Hey, you all. Okay. She got them, too. Allegedly. All right. But, um, but look, so how are things? Is your relationship with her still cool, or did you make her choose sides? Are you going to be with me, so, or are you going to be with me? No, I would never, ever do that. Okay. I would never do that. I'm not that type of female. I'm a real chick. Okay. You know, whatever. Just because me and somebody may have a problem, that doesn't mean that me and you and me and this person yes. have a problem. We're, I'm an adult. That's what people, you know. So, nope. Don't Nobody's going to make you choose sides. No. Look at this. Dear Wendy, I'm so glad that you're getting Kim and Foxy together. Finally, we can get a truth and some answers to the question. What is the beef? What is going on with you and Foxy? No. Like I just said, Wendy, I'm an adult and I don't have time to deal with petty um, Come up to the mind. and petty things. You know, one thing about one thing about Honey is that I feel that she has a little slight mental problem. I'm not trying to be funny, but I really think that that's honestly serious. I mean, she said that she extended an olive branch. And she did And say at that. the last moment, I canceled. First of all, I never agreed to it. So how could at the last moment I cancel it? I never agreed to it. That is the word one thing, around. One thing I would never do is get in bed with the enemy. I don't see with the enemy. I know who she is. I know what she is. And I, that's something that I chose to distance myself from. I will never ever, ever, ever be do anything involved with her again. You know what I mean? I don't it's, it's fine. It's like let her do her thing and I do me. It's, I can't that's something okay. that's just, you know, it's just something that you can do that's you. really a, a, um is really poisonous to you. Yes. You have to stay away from it. Even though I think we fan chicks out here, um, we think that you guys would make good friends. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you got... But, but I'm just saying aesthetically speaking, because none of us know you all together. But, right. you know, imagine little Kim and Foxy walking through Saks, looking fabulous, shopping, you know what I'm saying? Going away to Italy, sitting in the front row. But we are on two different levels. Like, I can't even see wow. how people compare us. I mean, like I said, like, one time I know she was in a hospital or something, and right. she said that I was one of the... Right. First people, pill. yeah, he was like I was one of the first people to call her. I don't have that child's number, oh. so like, why are you lying? Like that, that right there scares me. Like you know, if you're gonna, if you have to lie to try to get me to be a friend, that that that's, that's right there is not showing. Put it this way, I I ran into this woman that I'm really cool with in Justin's, and one time she invited me to go to church with her. Uh -huh. She had she's really close with. You know, the other girl, whatever. Okay. And um, she asked her to go. She didn't, didn't ask her to go to church with her for a okay, while. The only how, she said, the only how I would go to church with you is if you can make sure you fix it so I could sit next to little Kim. Like, oh. what? How come you doing that to, you know, go to church when you don't do that? Right, you know? right. So I went to church anyway, but I didn't see her, you know. But okay. she needs to get it together, okay. you know, honestly, on a spiritual side. Is there a chance of friendship? I honestly, no, I, okay. first of all, I never say never, but I try not to never say never. I just said never a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, I don't, that's not something that I want. You know, you have, um, like, this persona that's really fabulous. If I may say this without um, sounding um, negative or whatever, your music has, a, has not done as well as your infamousness in the past few years. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your 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 infamousness, the Louis Vuitton paint on you, the the Tommy Lee and Pam connection, all, all your fabulosity doesn't even compare to your album sales, which haven't been 
what people expect the Little Kim album sales to be. Do you follow what I'm my saying? My name has definitely been bigger than my album sales. Yes, yes. I agree with that. And your but image. honestly, can I just say this? Okay. That has really nothing to do with me and my music. That has a lot to do with you know the, my record label not promoting it and you know what? getting into it right because I'm going to tell you I loved Notorious K.I.M. Yes, the album you... like Notorious K.I.M. the record on the album was my favorite record By the way, what you like was one of my favorite records um goodness gracious the papers I could have gotten so far with these records but they didn't know what to do and honestly me coming up I was young I didn't know how to run a label have my own record label Queen B Records and now I'm seeing how to run a label if I would have done certain things if I would have known what I know now, then? Do you think that some of your fans have flipped on you? Because I think that some of your fans have flipped on you. Like, they look and they see the surgery and the uh, contacts and the hair and it's all, you know, one or two things is fine. But, you know, a lot of people, they just can't take having all those things at one time and then they're flipping, you know, like, ah, uh, you I know. Don't, I don't see that. I love my fans. Like, okay. My fans okay. love me. They, okay. I mean, they've always been there. Actually, can I just tell you, I've gotten further on the second album than I did on my first album. It's just that my first album hit harder. It was something yeah. new. You know what I mean? Well, this is something new. And people are just used to me, you know what I'm saying, being one way. Right. But at the same time, I feel like I came even harder on this second album as far as like lyrics is concerned. The, the music is different. The kind of direction was different. You just have to, you know, you get to know both, all sides of Kim. That's all. My third album's going to be crazy. Just look forward to it. Yeah, I was going to ask you whether you're going to make a third album. Because as far as I'm concerned, you could never have, if, even if you never make another CD again, I think you qualify to be a hip hop socialite. That's when you look fabulous in like Donatella cl clothes and you go to everything fabulous. You know what I'm saying? And you get your picture taken and you yeah. get sponsors and you listen. I think Mariah Carey needs to give up the music. She's fabulous, but mentally, when your mental starts to get yeah, weak, you, you, got, to, you can't yeah. play that did I go gold platinum game anymore. I think she needs to keep her yeah. waist tight, keep the implants going or whatever, and just be a R and b socialite. But see, nowadays, what the record labels are doing is they're, they're, con they're putting all their money and their effort into artists. They're putting you out there. They're keeping you visual. That's all my record company has to do. And we know what to do now, so hopefully... Um, well, not hopefully. When Queen B comes back around, I will be in total control of everything. As you know, the last album, Puffy had his hand on had Right. A lot of people had their hands. Wait, hold on. We're going to talk more about that. And I want to know if Jay-Z ever had his hands on. But we're not. We're going to talk in just a moment, okay? You prepare an answer. I know what I believe. It's uh, nine minutes away from five o'clock. Melissa is here with a traffic update on the Wendy Williams Show on 107.5 WBLS. Go ahead, Melissa. Hey there, Wendy. Well, you know, let's take a look. We've got a bunch of favorite song in the whole world. Absolutely. Right He's coming by the show on, I believe, Thursday, right, Janine? Monday. Next Monday, he'll be oh, gone. It'll be Bubba's moment. Yeah. I love him, right? Ow. Ow. I want to shout out to a couple Ow. of listeners. Nino Brown is checking us out, and Sharonda Simmons, and also Bino Sin, and all three people were looking forward to the reuniting of Kim and Foxy. And, you know, because I said it on the radio, I said, well, Kim's coming up, maybe we can get Foxy to come up, maybe we can get you all to reunite. But you've already said that that is not happening. No. And, um, period. Sorry uh, to all of my fans, all of her fans, but no. That won't be happening. happening. You know, she's in love. She's with um, the, the reggae dude who's in her video. Good she's, for her. She's that, me. that might be good for her. Well, Spraga. Well, you know, um, the dude that she was engaged with, oh, corrupt. Mm -hmm. um, he, the girl that yeah. she's pregnant. Sorry. But she's pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah, the baby's due, like, sometime, I think, in the winter. Wow, good for him. That's good. But, you know, love, love in the air. Love. love. Yeah. Oh, love. Have you only been pregnant that one time that you had the abortion with um, Biggie? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly? Uh, yeah, honestly. I, have, I don't even really say like that. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know what it is with me and men. I, I'm not, I, that's why I asked you about women, but you refuse to answer. But I have my no, own I don't thoughts. No, I'm just saying, I don't know. I, I mean, I would love to have yeah. a man, but it's yeah. not. Well, Kim, you're intimidating. You walk around half naked. You've got pasties yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't do that when I'm with a man. The nose job, the makeup. A lot of black men have a problem just with uh, makeup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what? Hey, well, whoever is going to be with me, they have to affect me. So. Have you, do you date white men? I'm not, I don't. Besides I'm not, I Stephen Seagal? I wouldn't say Seagal? alone, but I... No, I'm going to say this. Stephen Seagal is my homie, though. Left with him once? My homie. No, never. Ever. Come you know, on, he's got a big tattoo representing the top of his hair on his head. I talked to a girl who was uh, in, a, in, a, in a an actress who was in a movie with him. I can't say her name, but... um. You know, he's got, like, you know how, like, if you have thin hair, and then you put that spray mm -hmm. on, but instead of the spray, he's got a big tattoo, you know, a big black tattoo on top of his hair, so that you don't see any whiteness in between the thinness of the hair. Did you notice that when you were running your hands through him as he was, oh, had you bent over the sink? Can you imagine just, me and Steven? Yes, I can. Really? I can imagine you and the news girl. He I can likes imagine black you and women, Missy. though. He likes black women. I can imagine you and one of your female fans. 
Yes, I can. All right, we'll move on. I know what I think. Everybody, are you, can I get a what, what? <laughs> See, the entire Brooklyn just said, what, what? All right, let's move no, on. So, look, could you pump your own gas, by the way? Do I pump? Yeah. I try not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can get Caesar, one of the guys to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Because they do it for you in the So, yeah. So, where are you living right now? Okay. And you have like a condo, or do you have a spread? You know, detached houses. You know, a little spread. And you know, the thing is, Kim, don't um, don't embellish for fabulousness, because I think the listeners want to know the real deal. Like, if you live in a one bedroom condo, it's okay. Do you know what I'm saying? I live in a very nice place. Okay. A very nice. Place. Nice house. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You got a maid. Actually, I used to, but I don't have one now because I'm, I'm I'm moving in a little while. Okay. Now, why are you moving again? What is, see, you won't settle down. You can't have the boyfriend. <laughs> You're always moving. Is it because the killers get your telephone number? A lot of people do find out where I live. Yes. And that's annoying. Yes, I can imagine. So now you're moving again. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I have to. Okay. Are you friends with Eve? I'm not friends with her, but you know, I don't. You don't know have any, her. I don't know yeah, her like that. Yeah. I heard on a mixtape you and a girl named Blue were doing either a freestyle or a song. Is Blue uh, signed to Queen Bee Records? Yeah, she, yeah. Whatever happened to that little girl who was like eight years old on her seat? I mean, I was trying to get them up here today, you know, but, you know, Shanice is in school and, you know, can't, I don't know what it's called, but she, we had a nice song, a nice remix from Tracy, y'all, but Vinny, where's Vinny? Vinny Brown, he's our boss. You know, Vinny, you know yeah. Vinny was my boss back in 1990 when I wasn't even blown up and he helped me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, he gave me the freedom and then I did the top eight at eight and Vinny and all. It's so nice to be working with BLS. Vinny, yeah. Well, they got curse words in it, so I can't, can't play. play. I, Vinny is my boy. Right? Uh, Look at me. Okay. What's your relationship with Charlie Baltimore? Is it is everything? Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's move on. I don't want to waste time. No, I'm not even trying to be. Okay. Oh, okay. The hardcore CD, by the way, is a classic. Yeah, it is. It is very That's much one a thing classic. I can honestly say is that one of the reasons why it was a classic is because my man was here at that time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He had such um, an uh, influence over your writing. Right, but you know, as I started to go, I started yeah. to see he had an influence over my writing. Yes, yeah, okay, go ahead, go he ahead. Did. Yeah, okay. I don't have no reason to lie, but, go, go. but you want to know something? Go I am here. nice, Wendy. Yes. I get busy with the pen. And he knew that even back then. On my album, I wrote. Mostly everything, and he helped me with a few songs, of course. On your first and I love that because now to this day, all of the energy, all of the melody he had, all everything that he influenced me with. inside of me now. So the third album is gonna be crazy. Okay, and the Mafia album is gonna be sick. So Jay Z did a verse on one of the songs on your first CD. Help me, what song was it? Uh, Big Mama Thing. Yeah. I look forward to so, doing more co collaborations with Jay. I bet you do. He's he's. he's mm -hmm. <laughs> I got my answer. Shout out to Jay Z, man. He is doing his thing. Congratulations to you, baby. Yeah. Jika. So you were never with him romantically. Is there any rapper that you'll admit to being with romantically other than Biggie? I mean, that was that's a good one right there. Do you know what I'm saying? But is there? Any, I mean, you know, is there anybody famous that you'll admit to being with you romantically? I, I've been with a few um, uh, famous people, but not a few. I would say maybe two. Okay. But I don't feel like it's the need to talk about it because it's in the past, it's past this, and you know. But we want to know your taste. But see, you know what? When you start talking about people you with, I don't think it's classy. No, you're it's not, not with them now. But they neither are pasties on national yeah. TV. Yes, it is because everybody loved it, baby. Me and the purple was the. Sh but but we all liked it. But a lot of people would say that that wasn't necessarily a classy thing. And you're always on the trashy page on the Star well, and the Inquirer. Well, I mean, that's just because I'm little Kim. Yes, it is that's little Kim. All, you know what I mean? Because I mean, right now I feel like I'm very tasteful. Look at your dress. stomach. Look how tight it is. Really? I feel like I need to get in the gym. <laughs> let, let me ask. So, do you feel as though you can, you're gonna you can reinvent yourself anymore? I mean, you've gotten a lot. A oh, number of, of things. Oh, of course, baby. I'm talented and gifted, and God has given me this for a reason. Because it seems like you've gone all the way out on the limb with the sex thing. The next thing to do, would you pose for Black Tail, Playboy, or Penthouse? No. I mean, well, I can't say. I've gotten offers for. Um, from, from Playboy, yeah. and I can honestly say my offer was over a million dollars. So that would have gotten C's and Banger out of jail quicker. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you know what I mean? But and why I haven't mean, you done it? We've seen you practically naked. Because it's a Look, your shirt's falling down now. In a second, I'm going to see Areola. <laughs> It's my T-shirt. It's my T-shirt. By the way, your areolas and everything all lined up after your um, job. You know, some girls, you know, they get it done, sees, and they have the illusion of big boobs, except everything is pointing still down. <laughs> sees. Back me up. Don't leave me hanging out here. You know what? You know what I'm saying. Well, you know, um, Playboy. We were talking men about. Men say my body looks really good. Yeah. 
So why haven't you posed for Playboy? I don't think anybody would think there'd be anything wrong with little Kim being in Playboy. I mean, maybe not now. I don't know. You know, I mean, it's a time for everything or whatever. You do it, see? That's that's Let gonna me be. Send the offer to you. All right, I'll, I'll call him. We know how many of you are. I'll have you has have Steve? Have you ever seen little Kim Stark naked, nothing on? No, no, no. Sometimes. Sometimes you knock on the door. Okay. Have you? <laughs> Okay, okay. Catch me. Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 Were you ever romantically involved with D-Rock the way mm -hmm. I have it put? No, everybody's trying to deny something? That's my brother. Okay. My brother, I love him. What up, D-Rock? All right. All right. <laughs> hey, what's your relationship with Janice Combs and also Valletta Wallace? We'll take Janice first. Oh, um, Valletta Wallace, she's still my second mommy I never had. Because you guys all lived together at one point. Yeah, and then... Yeah, and yeah. then Janice Combs, that's still, like, my second, third mommy. I love them. You know, nothing's, you know, I'm going to, like I said, I'm a mature person, and I feel like, you know, when you have a problem, because I've been going through it, and I'm still going through it, but that's just life, and that's in this industry, period. You have to be strong to stay in and hang in there. So I, I want to give them a lot of love right okay. now because they've helped me in a lot of social How about your own mom? What's that that's relationship my like? That's my best friend. I got a, um, an email. As a matter of fact, a few people expressed concern. They said, first of all, your mother's still living in the projects and second of all, um, she cleans your house. And I'm saying this with a straight face. My mother does clean my house. Okay. And that's um, what I'm saying, Kim. My mother, my mother, has my mother cleans my, mother my house happy. too. My oh. mother's house is fine, clean. So whatever. Yeah. I mean, okay. you, you you do as you can. I was, eventually, I would love to put her in a mansion. Yeah. But it's not. You know, is hey, she still in the PJs? Really like that. I wouldn't say she's on the B-days, no. But she's, but in a, she's in an apartment that's not necessarily befitting a Queen's mom. Well, whatever, it's how people want to think it, but, you know, whatever. My mom's house is nice. How are you feeling yeah, about this you know, interview some people, so far? Are you, that's are you, true, that's true. What you know, my mom says? is like that, too. Some people don't want to leave that's certain true. places that they... Yeah, yeah. And my mm -hmm. mom is type person like my when I a long time ago when I wanted my mother to move to another spot, she was like, No, I just got my floors done, like I give her yes, money to do yes. whatever she wants to do. How are you feeling about this interview so far? How are we doing with each other? Are you okay? I am having so much fun. Okay, too. good. Okay, good. I'll come back at tomorrow. All right. All right, good. Look, we're gonna play a song now and we're gonna have more talk with little Kim right now. It's ten minutes after five o'clock. The Wendy Williams show is on one oh seven point five WBLS. Little she was doing the boo and look at, at the very end at the very end of the video, the video you switch your hips really hard it's like one, one last oh I was on point though right yes you were yes you were <laughs> did R. Kelly catch a boner Ooh. I won't even say but ooh, he was doing okay <laughs> What what um, designer are those sunglasses right there that you're wearing? I know everything is a label with you. But you know what? These aren't really. They are, they're made by this person that, that you know. They're the heart glasses that I wore in Double XL. Okay. Um, I forgot the name of them. When you had the blue hair and all like that. The green hair. Yeah. By the way, let's talk about the zipper hair and the and the shoelace hair. <laughs> I, I, you think it's something Gangsta. hot? I think that it was something different, which you're known for something that has very little Kim. But I don't think that that was everyday girl um, fashion. I'm not everyday girl fashion. No, you're not. I, I can be, and that's what I am a lot of times. But a lot of times, every now and then, here and there, I got to sprinkle with you, man. Who invented the, the <laughs> zip-up uh, lace hair? That's that's a European that's thing, good. and um, you know, as you know, I spend a lot of time in Paris, yes. and Italy, and stuff. Yes. So when I go over there, I work with different stylists and artists who give me these different um, styles. And Dion Alexander kind of recreates the styles here in New York. Uh -huh. I don't really; it's hard to get them to come over here. Yeah, and, you know, this is a whole back castle. Yeah. So. Um, we kind of recreated it. My favorite was the orange zip. I like that better than the shoestring. The shoestring was cool. It kept them tying. Yeah, it got loose and loose. Oh, the way. I'm going to lose my hair. You and Blue Cantrell looked awfully close um, on, on M MTV. Girl. When I was seeing you guys at a party for the, after the, the MTV Video Music Awards, did you guys make friends afterwards? That's Do you my two girl. Ways I love anything? her. Like, I love her. Like, you know, we just kind of recently started hanging out. And right. Stuff. I love her style. I love her music. I think she's pretty. I think she's beautiful. Have you ever kissed her? No. I'm, I'm going to try to trip her up every way I can, see. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, Kim, where do you stand with your feelings on Shine? See? Actually, you know, honestly, you know... Um, because there was a studio run up in. All right. Okay. When, you know, okay. when, when C was in his predicament, him and C were together. Okay. And I got a lot of 
different respect for Shine. Okay. And honestly, I would love to even go see him and talk to him because, uh, you know, the men, our men that are in the penitentiary, they need support from, you know, artists. There's a lot of them, there's a lot of men in the penitentiary that are in there for stuff they didn't do, for instance, the right. banger when they was you know, right. in their situation. Mm -hmm. And they need that support. And him and C's, they, you know, they, they would, they, 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 they were men. Yes. They did the men thing in there. They yes. responded together. They talked about their situation. And he looked out for Steve. Steve right. looked out for him. And, right. and no doubt, so shine. Much love to you. It holds your head. And I know what you're going through. How long have you been out? Uh, 48 hours or something? Yeah. Season uh, banger? No, no, I've, been <laughs> no, no. I've been out since August 18th. You know, okay. So, so while you were there, yeah. so, 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 so Shine was there for you all. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. And this is the same person you all ran up in the studio at one point on him and stuff. So I guess all that stuff is done. That's, 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 um, that's her thing. I'm about to okay. say. Okay. We, you go through that. Okay. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? And that's where we all from. So we keep it gangster. And okay. that's, that's all it's about. But, you know, like I said, he showed me his maturity, and I like that, you know, it's but, all good. By the way, um, we're doing our best to arrange for Jada Kiss to come to the show tomorrow, but I'll be able to give you a definite answer tomorrow. Jada. Um, he really does want to come up, and he showed love while I was in Philly. And so where's your relationship now with, by the way, I know you have one of these Frankie B jumpsuits that all the girls are wearing, <laughs> yep, right? I have yeah, everybody has one. Yeah, I just finished cutting the, um, the sleeves off mine. The arms really? are so yeah. tight. The oh, yeah, they are tight. tight. I like them tight like that. Yeah, but you know... Like, when you have a little bit of extra meat, like, you get the tight and then the bubble over. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I've lost weight, but I, get, I still get the bubble over, so I can't, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's, let's um, work the questions, Wendy. Okay, so what is your relationship now with Puffy? And be very serious and honest. And I'm looking at you in your contact eyes. Don't you lie to me. That, she's closing her eyes and turning away. She's making up an answer. Go ahead. Because you are bananas. I'm but watching you. Good, though. I love crazy wild people. Okay. You know. I'm different too, <laughs> but um, 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 not puffy. Puffy, that's a touchy situation. Cause as much as I hate him, sometimes I I gotta love him. And you know, puffy is a legend in this game. Whether you love him or not, you gotta respect what he do. Yes, you gotta respect his money. Yes, and you know, just point blank, straight up, puffy and I, I he there's still certain things that he has. You know what I mean? As far as working abilities. I like working with Puffy. You know, he pushed me to really work hard. He's a he's a workaholic, but at the same time, I have to keep I have to use my own ideas because we all know when Big was alive, he was the. Does Puffy, music, does he was Puffy the owe you money? Man. Does Puffy owe you money? Yeah. Puffy owes a lot of people money. Yeah, but me too. <laughs> Puffy owes a lot of people money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You ever sleep with him? There's a hell no. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, but that wasn't a curse. Everybody, like everybody, I'm looking know. at you, and I'm trying to convey a message. Mm. <laughs> I mean, we what know does, what we we what mean, that mean. We know what we believe. Well, you can believe it, but that's my God's honest. Really, I went, I, Puffy, that's 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 that. that no. Okay. No. Mm. But Puffy and I, you know, we mm. we were really close, mm -hmm. and Puffy, it is I can't. It is hard. Will he be working on the on the third CD? Your next no, CD no, 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 no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like this third album. It's going to be all me. All. Okay. The Mafia album is going to be all us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Steve is going to have his input. I'm going to have my input in Mafia album. Banger has his input. Everybody's going to have their input in this Mafia album because we're doing it on my own label, which is Queen B. Yeah. And, you know, everybody's going to branch out. Everybody's going to be able to do their thing. And everybody's going to show their um, talent. And I want to ask own. you about your label. Do you ever get packing in your nose? Because my friend Barry Rubin, okay, when I was... Ain't to do with the label with well, because you just, I just rub my nose and you just, you know what I'm saying, to your nose. And I want to ask you, because where I grew up in Ocean Township, getting a nose job at 16 was the rite of passage of a lot of the girls. It's just what you did, like getting braces and stuff. So I, I mean, these were white girls, but I come from a nose job background as far as seeing it. On that, but now I'm, I'm seeing you and I'm asking you. Do you, do you, because they say you, your, your nosing, your nose breathing is never the same. Like, do you have to use a humidifier at night and all like that to keep everything open? <laughs> I'm just asking, Kim. No. Oh, I don't know. People. 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 What is going all right. on? Look people. here, everybody. Listen, all right. Dati, wait, yeah, let me ask you some It's a 21 minutes after 5 o'clock. I like that, Steve. I like that. L yeah, yeah, Little Kim is here. Yeah, Steve, We've got a song what from Little Kim's, um, actually, from the Junior Mafia, from the Junior Mafia CD. Exactly. Wait, Steve, wait. <laughs> we, um, we, uh, we, uh, 
this. We, come on, listen to what you want to ask her. Listen to me. We're about to play a Junior Mafia song. Everybody calm down. <laughs> no, but first we're going to take a break. We're going to take a break. We're going to play Junior Mafia song coming out. The Junior Mafia song is Wendy's Pick of the Day. We're going to talk after the song so that we can talk about... The, the title of it and who all's on it. I got to ask you. B L N. I got to ask if you. I, isn't this a legendary one thing? One thousand seven point five. <laughs> you love that. Let's go to break. Yeah. Brought to you by Classic Throwback TV. WBLS, that's Lou from The Mafia, The Mafia, and so that's called Nothing Wrong. Okay, so here's the deal, everybody. The Mafia's new CD will be out sometime in January, and all the fellas and Kim and stuff, you all are still together, still eating, yeah. and going through ups and downs together. Right. Well, that's nice, Kim. Yeah, we, we you know, it's, we've been through hell and that, we... You don't even understand, so we have no choice but to keep it together. We're on a mission right now. When was the last time you were in a fist fight? <sighs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> fist fight yesterday. Oh, wow, why you ask me that? I, I don't know, because, you know, I would imagine the girls do try to try you. And, you know, yeah, and, but and the dudes have been locked I mean, up. I don't even get a chance to fight because, okay. you know, it would be taken care of before. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's not talk about, about that negativity. <laughs> you one hit a quitter, babe. <laughs> so, look. So, um, you've got a clothing line that is going to be coming out? Yeah. And for copyright um, reasons, I can't really mention the name and stuff okay. like that yet. But we're working on it really way big. i got a lot of... Uh, Huge designers. Can you make some huge sizes too? Don't yeah, just make no, size I zeros. That, see, that was a secret. That okay. I wanted to tell you. Okay, good. Because you know why? A lot of uh, big women come up to me and they love me and they love my style. And I love to see big women trying to you know, fly. emulate my style. I love yeah. that because that means that they have more confidence than right. a lot of these small women. Right. You know, so I, I'm like, you know, because like, I'm looking forward to Jennifer's line, but you know, I just have a feeling Jennifer's line is only going to go like up to a size eight, and that's considered a big fat though. Are you friends with her? No, but um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she got married this past weekend. I told everybody about two hours ago. I think it'll last a year, <laughs> only because, only because it happened so fast, Kim. That's a soap opera right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Say what you want about Puffy, and I've said my share. But I think they made a good couple. Yeah, probably. They probably should get back together. I don't know. <laughs> you ever see them fight? I mean, you ever been out with them and then they fight? Yeah, I mean, we've witnessed a lot of things between them. You know, we were all... So how does it go down? Yeah, Jennifer time. throws things and Puffy throws things back? <laughs> they crazy. They just crazy. Does Puffy uh, turn on his heels and get his umbrella man to follow him out the fight? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what, though? One thing I want to I wanna just say that, you know... Oh. Kevin, oh, the baby, the baby. I'm talking to Big Mama Queen B. Come there, pumpkin. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just sit right there. Come there. Yeah, let me show. Let me show you what good love. So, stop it, Kim. You're disgusting. Look at you. This is love. Somebody better put something in that baby mouth. <laughs> I don't want. No, 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 no. Put something in that baby mouth. Stop it. All right, Come here. Let's, let's get back to, you know what, this is a whole disgusting situation here. No. Let's get him out of the studio. I love him. He's so cute. Okay. Look, would you ever, sign, okay. would you ever sign with The Row or with Rough Rider? With who? The Row? Death, Death Row? They call it The Row. No, no. I, or no, Rough Rider? No, look. I, I'm a, yeah, I'm an independent woman trying to do my thing, and I want to see my boys do their thing. As a matter of fact, like I said, the Mafia, Blake, Steve, Banger, uh -huh. Lil C's, and L.D., Huey, who, Ill Bill. So the people at Atlantic Records are good to you? I mean, we, you know, we have situations, but we're currently working things out. So, you know, that's that's in any record label. You're going to always have little situations. But, you know, it's all about this music here. That's what we love, and that's what we're living for, this music. And we're living for ourselves, of course. But Where were you when the time, World Trade Center? I was asleep, and Rock came and woke me up. <laughs> He just walked no. over and woke you up, right? No, he ain't oh. gonna... Sorry, I'm just trying to trick you. No. All right. Um, but I'm glad he did because I would not have wanted to be sleeping through that. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But I, when I woke up, watching on TV, it was just, that's touching to me. It was very touching. Listen, everybody, we've got more with Little Kim. Don't forget to check out Doug Banks and Dee Dee McGuire tomorrow morning on the BLS Morning Show. And also, don't forget, on Thursday, I'm going to be tending bar from 9 to 9.30 at The Shadow. We've got music. Yes, we've got music. And more talk with Little Kim as the show continues on 107.5 WBLS. Brought to you by Classic Throwback TV. WBLS, just laughing with my friends. Yeah. Little Kim is here, and Seize, and Banger, and of course Hillary, who's her um, assistant. Okay. And Jean is in the studio. 
No, manager Hillary. Yes. And um, Jean is in the studio, and we were laughing about Little Kim's love for Louis Vuitton. I love Louis. I also. love Louis. It's my very favorite. And I and I got a Little Kim spotting about a week ago. Somebody said that they saw so, told me that they saw you in Detroit airport with piles of Louis luggage. Yeah, I'd be coming through America with Louis. <laughs> now look, after you painted your after you got your body painted for the magazine cover, did you just get all this free stuff, or are you buying? They retail? finally gave me my card. <laughs> What's a card? It's like a, a card where you go and get anything you want, yeah, you get a discount. Oh, right. really? Yeah, we got it. Good. So when's the last time you paid retail for something? You know, full price. I, I, I support. Uh -huh. I support. There's still certain designers that I rock. I ain't going to mention no names that don't really hook me up like that. But the most of the ones that I wear, I'm, I'm good. Right, good. right, right. Yeah. What does good mean? 50% off or 60% Sometimes 50%, sometimes 30 sometimes 20 Depends. Who who are your favorite um, um, designers out now besides Donatella? Yeah. You know. um, there's a lot. Okay, well, you can't think off the top of your head. Let me ask you this. What was the last real expensive thing that you bought? What was the most expensive thing that you bought recently? Recently? Uh-huh. No discount. Just this is little Kim, and I want it, and I'm buying it. And recently, I ain't really been buying stuff. I've been sending me stuff. Time <laughs> to clean. Oh, like, shut you know? up. <laughs> Look at her. I am so thrilled. Nah, for real, though. I've been, like, like... I got a new mink coat that but Donna gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Donna. Yeah. Just so you don't deal with Ninja anymore. Um, who? Okay, so that was all. No, the ninja's the black. Yeah, ninja. Fun. You mean Nick? Matter of fact, shout yeah. out to Sadia. That Sadia is like one of my best friends. Yeah, and I love how she's a sister I never had, which is um, Nija's sister. Yeah. And yes, I do still have Nija. But oh, she okay. gives me stuff too all the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, I also buy a lot of things for her. Uh huh. You know? What's a lot of money for you to go shopping with? Like you're 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 going to Saks, I where I reported that you shoplifted years ago. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, because we all I have our. I did know how to steal. Though. No, <laughs> but look, don't say that. Nah, no, but look, okay, so you're going to Saks. It's Saturday afternoon. First of all, do you go by yourself, or do you have one of the boys go, or Hillary? I mean, I love when the boys go with me, but when they're busy, I, if I have to go, I just go. Me and my girlfriend, I just go. Okay, so little Kim never puts on her shades and pulls her hair up underneath a Louis hat and goes by herself. Yeah, I, I tried to do that. One time I tried to go get my nails done. <laughs> I had to call somebody to come get me because it, it became it crazy. Was crazy, yeah. Who does the grocery shopping at your house? Do you ever see, will I see you in the shop? I do that. Yeah, I do that. I put on a hat and I just go because out in Jersey, I can do that. Yeah, you really can make moves. You yeah. Much, you know? so. so can you go over to the Short Hills Mall and shop at Bloomingdale's by yourself? Sometimes, sometimes not. You know, sometimes that's what I think it's all in the way you carry yourself sometimes. You can make yourself low pro. Fast. How do you dress down and make yourself low pro? <laughs> like, what do you do? Because if you put on glasses, it's the, of course it's little Kim's, and there's these big Chanel frames that nobody else can afford. I mean, do you ever just buy a pair of glasses on Canal Street and just go on about your business? I don't know. You know, sometimes it's, it's funny, because sometimes I put on a hat and a hoodie, and they'll notice me. And then sometimes I'll just wear, a, you know, my regular hair out, whatever, and they won't know. Well, look at here. Capone and Noriega's beats on. I want you to do some freestyle. I'm going to oh. do my headphones. No, I'm not freestyle. Your fans are I'm going to think you're fronting. You have to. You I'm have to. Are you going to I got a curse. Oh, here she goes. Now, you know you know what, everybody? We'll talk. But I think any excuse is better than time. All right. Well, Kim, um, there's a couple other things I wanted to ask you. First of all, shout out to Derek LaBeja and the entire house of LaBeja, and thank you very much for your support. Kim, what do you watch on TV, like, when you're home? Who's there at the house with you, for instance, on a Saturday night? I watch a lot of, I don't know. I like TV. Like, for instance, you know. Um, my favorite movie is Trippin'. Okay. Do you watch sitcoms? Will and Grace. Yeah, I watch. Um, just Shoot Me. Snoop was on Just Shoot Me this past week. Did you see that? <laughs> we saw you on the um, Derek, David Allen Greer show. Oh, yeah. I did Jag. Yeah. I watched that, too, occasionally here and there. So it's I not on the anymore. So. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I watched the Parkers. I watched um, all these I watched. Uh, the, uh, the Jeffersons late at night when it comes out. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I'm old stuff. Yeah. So. But you're not yeah. really a TV person. You, you're you more of a, like, do you sip champagne when you're home by yourself? Do you, I mean, what does little Kim do when she's in the house by herself? And you know, there is no C's, because C's locked up, bangers with him, because they tried to, you know, buy a little something on 125th Street. You know what I'm saying? So now the boys aren't around. Hillary is out of town. She's in Milan. You know what? Closes for you. I'm a, oh. I'm a, I'm a deep thinker person. So you know, if being that you're a cancer, you know this. Yes. I like quiet time and yes. I like to think and put things together. So what that. What do you do in that house? You're sitting in what? A pink chaise lounge. I well, I stay in my room a lot. I'm okay. a closed in type of person. Okay. To myself a lot. Whatever. I like to sleep. I like to get a lot of rest. Okay. You know, I like my music. Yeah. Does I Mary come over? To my music and my headphones, whether it's in my. 
Snip my nasty. <laughs> Does Mary come over with a deck of cards and a couple bottles of Dom? Um, once in a while, I go on and visit my friends and stuff like that. We're getting the wrap up. Um, so we're going to wrap up the whole interview. One more thing. Do you feel pressured when you're with dudes to have circus sex? Because you put it out there so much. I've been meaning to ask you that. You know, like when, when a guy gets down with little Kim, like you just can't be regular or can you? Do you feel pressure? Is it... Like but see, I'm, not, I'm not a regular person anyway when I'm with somebody, especially if it's somebody I love and uh -huh. I'm careful. I'm, I'm a freak. Like, I get busy. We okay. get busy together. I okay. love that. I, okay. I love doing any kind of, having any kind of sex with okay. somebody I love and stuff, you know? But if I'm dating somebody, you know, it's like whatever. Wow. Are you going yeah, yeah, yeah. to be on the next Biggie project? Of course, anything with Biggie, I'm gonna be a part of. I can't. I, I'm not even gonna say whatever, you know. Because that means that you have to mingle with Puffy. Yeah. You know, I, I sense a little something. Yes, yeah, right. Okay. I'm okay. not even gonna say, but you want you you know anything yeah. that big big do. Okay. Oh, we're gonna play one more song and then we're gonna wrap up with Kim and me. It'll be time to go home. And. All right, all right, hold on. We got your shout-outs, a couple, a little bit more chit-chat, then the whole show is wrapping up, and JJ's coming on at 6, okay? All right, play it, Sam. 107.5 WBLS. Brought to you by Classic Throwback TV. It's uh, 5.46 now, 14 minutes before the JJ show on BLS. It'll be good to go at 6 o'clock. Here comes the wonderful world of little Cecil Leo. Cecil Leo. <laughs> Walking in here, see, I was just um, getting a little bit emotional with Kim, telling her how much, what an appreciation I have for the entourage. Yeah. She's the friends. Yeah. The family. She loves being out together. She's That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's right. You don't even understand. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Thais? That's nice. Yeah, tight, tight sense forever. Oh yeah. my gosh, now I can't see through the tears. Damn you all. Oh, oh, so sweet. Wendy's Please. crying every Stop, time. I'll be talking about you tomorrow. <laughs> we love you, Wendy, and we are so happy that you are back, honestly. Thank you. Because you're going to you bring some flavor to this, Thank to this you. world in WBLS. Flavor <laughs> safety <laughs> that <laughs> baby. Okay, I got some more questions for you. Um, I wanted to ask you, first of all, about your acting. Now, I know Joanna Mann's going to be coming out with yes. Miguel Nunez and Vivica Fox, who also has a nose job. Yeah. Now, come on, let's bring her into it, Vivica, too. We're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about her. I'm in the hot seat, Vivica. I don't know what Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. So tell us what Joanna Mann is about and what you're acting as. Um, I play Miguel Nunez's girlfriend, his first girlfriend, who is, like, really with him because he has all his money and he's famous and he's a basketball player. And, of course, when he doesn't have it anymore, she bounces. Okay. And the only reason why, oh, you tripping, baby. Stop. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> yeah. Stop. Go ahead. But, no, the only reason, you know, why I'm there is, you know, because of that. But then, you know, I'm, it's not a very long part, but how it's much, not very short. How much did you get for that, if you don't mind me asking? Can you please be honest? Uh-huh. I'm a... No, I'm looking at you as maybe a, a, a three hundred thousand girl, if that, for a, a for a movie. Um, I'll just say this: I, it was it was appropriate for that time. It was enough to get yeah. season banger. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't enough for that, but it was appropriate at that time, and I'm, I was just happy to be a part of that. I love. I take my acting seriously. Though. Yeah. Good for you. And so now, all right, so in this interview, let's just review what everybody's missed. Number one, little Kim is very proud of how she looks. She's had liposuction, right? She's had the breast implants. She's had the nose job. She's killing me, but I got to do it. Uh, but, uh, see, I'm sacrificing. I got more nuts than a lot but, of men. But yes, you do. And, <laughs> and you want to know what's funny about the two of us sitting here? People say that about me, too. <laughs> this is a very powerful room right now. Yeah, it's powerful. So look at me uh, through your contact eyes. Because you've got the contacts <laughs> and, the, and the weave. That's standard girl stuff. But the, the, but the nose, the boobs, and the liposuction. And I think you look great. You weigh about 106 pounds. You still exercise. You have no children, but you would like to have children. Your face is twitching as we're talking. I'm I not just going to say something. Okay, go ahead. I just want to say that regardless of what I had done to myself, women out there, you don't have to do nothing to yourself. I'm sure. Yeah, sure. You look a mess so that you could be the only no, one looking great. I, mean, I know exactly what's no, going on, no, honey. No, what I'm going to say is that okay. there are women who doesn't feel like they have to do all of that. Right, you know sure. What? I feel like as long as you're a good person inside, you're good at heart, you're a beautiful person, you don't have to. But if you want to, just know there's nothing wrong with it. No. And I love my women. I love yeah. my women. I love my men. I love everybody. Man, and I think I got a lot of love. And speaking of loving her, woman, loving her women, she says that she's never been with a woman. <laughs> Although I have my um, my disbelief about that, but we'll move on, okay? Move on. We have not established that you've been with anybody famous because you won't tell us who. 
Um, however, we'll talk tomorrow. But however, okay. what I want to I want to move off into something more serious. Okay. Right now. I am very. This is a touchy situation that I'm about to get on right now. I am very sentimental when it comes to America, U.S., the United States, especially what we've been going through. Yes. The world trade center is not there anymore. Do you know what, how that feels? Do you know how that makes me feel as a New Yorker? Yorker? That is a place where I was young that I had to go on, go to on a class trip. Yeah. You know, you go to the top of the building, you outside, you can look over, you always talk about throwing a penny over. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe it's gone. And all of this that's going down, yo, we ought to stick together and we need to really bring more love into the world. How have you do not donated any money to the relief fund? Yeah. A couple of dollars. Yeah. How are you financially? Because I don't. I'm blessed. Okay. You know I'm blessed, and honestly, you know, I, look, I got a goal to reach, and I'm not stopping till I get to the top. top I don't know? believe that you're a millionaires. Are you a millionaires? I mean, I I don't believe it. I'm just talking to you, Kim. It's Wendy and Kim. I don't believe you're a millionaires, though. I mean, well, I'm definitely not puffy status or... No, I mean, I mean a one millionaires. Yeah. I mean a one millionaires. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. All right. <laughs> yeah, I right. am. We, okay. we hold okay. in one plate. Okay. I hold in one plate. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was over a million dollars. Excuse me. <laughs> do, you, do you have any shout-outs to do? And then we're going to wrap up, okay? Yes, we do. We got okay, major go shout-outs. First, I want to give a, a shout-out to my big brother, whom I love very much, D. Rockefeller. My other big brother, Free. Um, big Rook. And my, my other big brother, C. Gutter. Uncle C. Gutter. Okay. Oh, wait. Now look Happy me. birthday. And, and, and Rock birthday is coming up, so we're going we gonna to have fun on his birthday, too. Who else? We got L.D. Blake C. Blake C. Rook. Man, Dre, okay. Prodigy, Fulton Street, all the hoods, uh, Marcy, Cypress. Kim, you don't have headphones. But there, there's Melissa, traffic person. <laughs> Music. Listen. Yes. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to. All right, please. I want to thank you, Kim, for coming to BLS. I want to also you? invite you to one of my welcome back parties, and I'm not um, sure exactly which one. Hillary, I will be in touch with you. Kim. The Queen is back the on queen, the radio that's, that's, with the Queen of Rap. The queen. And we're going to put this thing down, okay? Thank you, everybody, for listening today. So, dear, I love um, you. You can, you can hit me on the website at WBLSI.com. I'm Go Wendy at. And Kim will be talking more about her, with her, and all that in the future. Thank you, everybody. Little time for little, 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 yeah. Little, little, little shiny, babe, blue. And I want to give a big shout out to Y Clever. My condolences to his father and yes. everything. You know what I mean? Yes. That was, that's my homie. Okay. And Carrie USA downstairs. What's up, y'all? Okay. And all my fans, I love y'all. And JJ is next on VLS. Uh, bye bye. Yeah, baby. B I G for life. And the White Stone Bridge.